Hi there and welcome back to Champions of Kryn. I'm Byron and we are still in the Ogre base. We killed the assassins in the last video. The Auric uh, Draconian proved to be quite annoying and I still don't know how to deal with them properly but hell. I still have time to google that now let's try and finish that operation here. Okay, um, how about we save and get ourselves in here. You have entered a large meeting room. In the center is a large table surrounded by arguing or ogres. They have not noticed you yet. What do you do? We greet them. Everyone is surprised at your entrance. Their leader steps forward. I am Gravnak. What do the forces of Solamnia want here? What do you do? Well, we tell them about assassins. When you reel the evidence, Morok shouts incoherently and attacks Gravnak. A melee ensues. And from what I have heard, the... well, the evil ogres are apparently to the south. So from the north come the good ones and the bad ones are from the south. Because I tried that before and the guys from the south actually attacked me. Okay, so um, how about you cast a sleep. Right about here. Doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Oh shit, attack ally. No. So I was wrong. The evil ones are apparently up here. Well, last time they were down. That sucks. Um, the bad thing is that um, our mages are actually, well, you know, in the front line. So how about you cast the stinking cloud? Here. Hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? No, I will not attack an ally. No, for fuck's sake! What a clusterfuck. <laughs> Shit. So you apparently are evil.
They should have colored them differently. Well, if you attack... I, th I hope those are... Well, that apparently is a good, friendly one. Those are not. So I will cast... Uh, stinking Cloud... Here. No, fuck. I want a Genevieve Jolie to leave that way. Oh well. You're helpless. You're dead. Um You are you are helpless. Can I attack you? No. I guess you have to um, ready your quarter staff. And you could, hmm, what could you do? I guess you could cast the magic missile. I don't want to use a fireball because I am afraid I might hit friendly ogres. Shit! Why did you move in there? For fuck's sake! I wanted to aim. Well, this will be interesting. I have no idea who is attacking who here. You cast a magic missile on him. And he's dead. You cast a mag a fireball. I, I I was too fast. It sucks. You are an ally. You are an ally. Mutilate. You exited? Yes, aborted. I wanted to use a magic missile. You are an ally. Who is not an ally? I know for a fact that you are not an ally. Move out of that shit. Oh, really? Okay. Somebody surrendered. Can't be bad. Well, I don't know.
god. No, I will not continue the battle. The party has won. Each character receives 300 experience points and that, my friends, was an annoying clusterfuck. We don't get anything. Gravenek cleans the blood from his spear and looks at you. Join me in my office. We have much to discuss. He points to the door in the west wall. Do you follow him? Yes. Gravnak is standing here. He turns and says, You fought well out there. In other times we might be at each other's throats, but now we face a common enemy. I can help you defeat Mirtani. Interested? Yes. He goes on to explain his plans and you record it in journal entry 32. Okay, here are Gravnik's alliance plans. We are both hunting for Mirtani while he seeks our deaths. I have no love for sanctimonious knights and their ilk, but I do love my life. To keep that, I would suggest a temporary alliance. Mirtani has a base in Kernan, which he visits quite often. If you can slip into town, I have allies who will help you penetrate the base and kill Mirtani. He then shows you the secret sign to give his allies. Hmm. He then sees you out of the city. Congratulations, the party gains experience. We do not enter again. No, we return to the outpost. Here we enter. And we visit a commandant. The office is presently closed. The following missions are listed on duty roster. Relay information to southern outpost. See that Jalek is safe. Okay, I tell you what. We got a lot of experience. I will see whether anybody actually... Uh, was able to get a level out of that and then I will turn the video back on so hold on for a second okay apparently nobody was able to level up that's a shame so we move on to Jalek do you are near Jalek do you enter yes that's what I came here for alright hold it we gotta explain something. You record the rest of his speech at journal entry 47. Who the hell are you? We've had a lot of unsavory character passing through town lately. The good armies have left us in the lurch and we are forced to take the law in our own hands in order to protect the citizens of this town. Here's the official proclamation. All persons entering Yalek that are unknown to the guards shall be assigned an escort for the duration of their stay in the city. They will be restricted to the public parts of town. The burial grounds are strictly forbidden to all strangers. It is signed by our leader, Sir Lebaum. So, here's a nice young man who will show you around the town. Skylar, come over here. He introduces you to a man who looks you over and breaks into a goofy grin. His entire aspect seems dignified enough until he, sm he smiles or begins to talk. Then his ancestry is extremely questionable and you wonder if maybe he hadn't suffered a fall on his head as a child. Awesome. Hi, I'm extremely pleased to meet you. What the hell are you? Skylar joins your party. Let me see, he says. I have a map here somewhere. Ah, yes. Here we are. This is where we should go. A friend of mine lives there. He rambles on for some time. You record the more relevant parts as journal entry 76. Friend has many objects of value for sale. Great frog collection. Sword that seems to be magical, at least undead creatures are afraid of it. Many potions for sale. Information about the incident of undead and draconian incursions in the area. A beautiful daughter. Well, that takes us nowhere. Okay, we have a map. I have marked where he lives on the map, he says. Journal entry 45. Um, okay, let's take a look. Oh no, wait, it's a map. There's nothing to read. Okay, 
Okay, the, the X apparently marks the spot. Let's go to his friend then. Um, maybe we should encamp and save just in case bad things happen. So we move on. You see a sign, the red dagger in Jalkrans Ale House, Jalex Armory. You see a shadowy figure slip through the crowd behind you. Okay. Vilgarten's magic shop. Nice, nice, nice. So we move up here. Scar looks behind with an intent expression on his face. Thought I saw something, he mumbles. Well, did you or didn't you? Scarlet says, I'll be right back and leaves. Okay. So this is where we're supposed to meet his friend. You know, the one with the magical stuff and so. Scarlet says, well, here we are. This is the place where my friend lives. Okay. Let's go in. Your escort turns and smiles. We have known about you guys for some time. Mirtani is not pleased. I knew there was something fishy about him. But he's an elf. I think elf I thought elves were good by nature. I must leave to tell Mirtani of our success. My friends will deal with you. Really. A horde of evil characters attack. A small figure joins the battle on your side. Uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, well, that's great. Uh, Zara White is in the thick of it. An elvish rogue. <coughs> well, there are lots of elvish rogues here. Shit. Okay, who is first? You are first. Shit, shit, shit. You delay a bit. And you move away. On second thought you don't have to. You could cast. A stinking cloud. In here. Jokes and gags. Jokes and gags. Starts the cuff. You move out of the way. I don't care. Crackle Darian can take a hit or two. Okay. That worked nicely. You... Um... I could try to cast a hold person. Or a silence. Okay, you target that one here. Okay. Since you are a cleric, you could cast a whole person on him, on him, and finally on him. Unaffected. Boo! You're silenced. So, you can move. And now they get a crack at you. Okay. Boop. 
You happen to be helpless. You happen to be helpless. Uh, but uh, that one here is not helpless. So how about you cast another stinking cloud and target it here. That works nicely. So, um... That's not bad. Okay. You move down here and cast a lightning bolt. And you target it here. Oh, I hate you. Nice. Let's try and kill this. Um, you don't want to get away. They would hurt you if you do it. He has one more hit point. But, and he has an armor class of 8. So if you would use your quarter staff, you should be able to do it. No, you're not able. So there is one elvish rogue. As I thought, you can't reach him. But of course you could cast a magic missile. There's no hiding from that. Exactly. Good riddance. Okay, I think we're making progress. That was stupid, but doesn't matter. So, get back your ranged weapons.
Well, I would say we have things under control now. Who are you anyways? Muselia. Yep. You have a short bow. Wait, somebody surrendered? No. Okay. No, I don't want to continue the battle. 740 experience points and we take... Ooh, there's lots of stuff here. Is there anything magical? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay, we exit. <sighs> No, 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 you can keep the treasure. Thank you. Um, you are approached by a female thief. And a pretty one, I might add. She explains that she has been following you. The thief introduces herself as Mycelia. You record her mission as journal entry 59. Listen. I've been following you for some time now. That Skylar character is the leader of a faction of God that has taken over the city. He looks stupid, but don't let that fool you. He knows exactly what he looks like, and he knows how to use it to his advantage. He takes orders from Sir LeBaum. LeBaum took over about a week ago. It was, a slow and ins uh, it was slow and insidious how he did it. No word got out and all. Initially, there was a lot. there was lots of business for our shops. Everyone was happy. Except that now he's cut off all contact with the outside. Anyone that comes in here either joins the guards or is killed, as you almost were. There's another disturbing thing. I have done some digging around and nobody has even seen this Sir LeBaum character. Most people have never even heard of him. He, there was a knight of Solamnia of that name that was corrupted by Tarkesis many many years ago, but legend has it that he died. Horribly, they say. I'd like to get into the graveyard and examine his office. Are you willing to go with me? Sure. Since you helped us, we allow her to join. Miss Celia joins your party. She says that there is a safe place to rest to the northeast. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the area. Where are we? So we are in here, nevertheless. Okay. So we encamp and we fix. Let's, uh, we should probably change the party order now somewhat. First of all, let's take a look at you. A neutral thief. True neutral. Your stats suck. Uh, the dexterity is decent, but the rest... Mm, oh well. What do you have? Broadsword. Well, you should better stick to the bow, I guess. 26,000 experience points. That's not really much. And we should probably change the party order. And bring you up here. Exit. What is that? Oh, that's the uh, difficulty. Okay, um, so how about we call it a video and continue on the next one? Oh, great. Well, we'll do that off screen. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.